filled that black hole with. So like why you find out why over? Fortnite is back in my. Mind. Find out why over 5 million people in Southern world come to me and find out about WSM Rock that crossed the world's most famous finish line. More on your stars now. From the Northwest Public Broadcasting Studios on the campus of Washington State University, this is Murrow News 8. Good evening, I'm Kevin Gonzalez. And I'm John Lee. Welcome to Murrow News 8. A WSU student was arrested today. A WCO student was arrested today. Join us live from College Hill. Hey Corbin, what happened over there? Well, Kevin, actually a Wazoo student was arrested on Saturday, as a matter of fact. A Wazoo student pushed a couple out of a window, and that's just any window. It's actually the house, the window of the house right behind me here around the corner. And so the couple that fell out into the window, I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> the couple that fell through the window, they say that there are two different non-life-threatening injuries. They're okay. But the person who pushed him out of the window, his name is Jared Hargan, 21 years old. And KOSL One found out from the local police that the uh, Jared Hargan and one of the victims were actually roommates. Now, Jared Hargan, or Hargan, was booked to Whitman County Jail and is expected in court Monday. But again, this arrest happened on Saturday, and we're just hearing updates now. Kevin, back to you as well. Thank you, Corbin. Fifty-six apartment units are being built for low-income and homeless residents in Pullman. Constructions will begin this month. Jeff Gayet, executive director of the Community Action Center, said to Pullman Moscow Daily News that these units will be rented for people who are making less than 50% of Whitman County's median income, which is $70,000, and they expect constructions to be done by September 2020. The owner of Dash Dog, the social media famous canine, finished the Kona Ironman World Championships last Saturday with the Kug flag in hand. Andy Edland is a WCO alum, alum whose goal was to raise $110,000 for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society with the help of his viral social media camp, uh, campaigning. Thanks to Popular Dog, Andy got a slot to compete in the Ironman World Championship that over 80,000 athletes in the world try to compete in. On Saturday, friends and family of Andy got to see him cross the finish line, waving the crimson flag at the end of the 140-mile journey. As of today, Andy and Dash Dog have reached their goal of raising all of the $110,000 for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Discuss how major injuries can be prevented at Pullman High School, a topic that has been uh, very controversial in the nation the last few years. Find out more when Morrow News 8 continues.
This is the story of a boy who didn't talk for a long time. The boy liked things to always be the same. Any changes would scare and upset him. The unknown was an unfriendly place. The boy was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. He wasn't trying to be mean, it just made him feel uncomfortable. Sometimes he would flap his arms again and again. One day I found out I have something called autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I found my voice and learned all the way I could live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Washington Nationals are one win away from a World Series appearance. They now lead the St. Louis Cardinals 3-0. Let's take a look at the games now. In Game 1, Jan Gomes hit a double to put the Nationals on the board. The Cardinals actually didn't have a hit until the 8th inning. See that nice double in the gap there, drove in 2. Anibal Sanchez was dominant for the Nationals, pitching a no-hitter into the 8th inning. The Nationals won that game 2-0. Game 2 now, 1-0 in the 8th. Adam Eaton with a double down the line, 2 score. That put the game away as the Nats won 3-0. Slide in there for another run. Taking a look at Game 3, Steven Strasburg, Cy Young contender on the mound for the Nationals, strikes out the side in the 8th inning. He had double-digit Ks on the night. Nats win 8-1. Look at the ALCS now, Astros versus Yankees. Game 1 was Glaber Torres' night, going deep off of Zach Granke here, way up into the Crawford boxes out there in Houston. He had five ribbies in Game 1, and the Yanks won 7-0. Game two, look at this gem here. Altuve, he bobbles the ball. Carlos Correa swoops in and throws home to save a run here. And that preserved a tie game for the Astros. We now head to extra innings, bottom of the 11th. Carlos Correa, he goes deep out to right field, adds a run to the board. Astros win in extras. Both series continue today. Earlier today, the Astros already beat the Yankees to take the lead 2-1. The Cougar football team enters homecoming week without a conference win. WSU started hot with Anthony Gordon hitting a wide open Trebell Harris to open scoring. But rookie quarterback Jaden Daniels had other ideas, sticking a dagger in the hearts of the Cougs with this 17-yard touchdown run. In other results, Oregon crushed Colorado and Eugene while USC held tight with Notre Dame. Washington downed Arizona, Utah cruised past Oregon State, and Portland State shut out Idaho. Pullman High School is experimenting with some new technology for its high school football team. I went down to the home of the Greyhounds to learn more. Under the Friday night lights at Pullman High School, things are going well for the Greyhounds. Third and ten for the Knights. They're winning the game, <laughs> the band is playing, and the team is making huge strides to protect the health of its players. Partnering with Pullman Regional Hospital, this season the Greyhounds are using sensors in their helmets to monitor hard contact to the head. The technology, called Athlete Intelligence, helps the trainers identify hard hits that may cause long-term damage. As you can see here, the technology shows which hits are more dangerous than others, where on the head the dangerous hits landed, and how many crown hits each player sustained during a game or practice. With this information, the coaching staff can teach players how to avoid these dangerous hits in the future. So every week we get a, a list of the people who have the most amount of of, of top of the head impacts and so we can go back to our head coaches and say hey this player is showing um, that that he or she is leading with the top of their head consistently um, and that coach will go back to that player and help them to really change their mechanics so they're not putting themselves at risk of, of getting an injury that's going to um, to harm them in the future the folks at Pullman Regional Hospital explain this technology to the athletes like this so let's say you're standing in a parking lot and you have two apples you take one of those apples and you throw it at the ground. That's some pretty obvious damage to our apple. Now you take the other apple and you knock it against the ground repeatedly, but not too hard. That's supposed to simulate tackles or head-to-head -head contact in a football game. Now the damage is there on this apple, but it's not as easy to see. 
The athlete intelligence technology makes it easier for football coaches and trainers to see that damage to their players. We, we can't see every hit, and so that's why this technology really works well, because um, if someone were to start displaying concussion symptoms or complaining of headaches or any of that, uh, any of those symptoms, we're able to actually go back and see all the hits that normal people can't see. The technology is extremely helpful, but there is still a lot of work to do to keep young athletes healthy and safe. This is just one small tool um, in our very large tool belt of, of what we need to accurately diagnose these things. Logan Plant. And that's the end of the first quarter. Plant 17, East Valley 0. Murrow News 8. Pullman High School has only paid for the sensors for this season, but they tell me they're hoping to lock them down for next year as well. Basketball season is on the horizon, and WSU Athletics has given us our first look at the new court design. The court features a skyline that stretches from the west side of Washington all the way to the Palouse. The skyline features Washington landmarks like the Space Needle, a bridge from the Tri-Cities, and WSU's own Bryan Hall Clock Tower. The court has some crimson and gray with an anthracite border. John Lee will take a look at the weather forecast for the special week when Merlin News 8 returns. Dad, they took over my bedroom. Come on, come on. Okay, Dad. One, two, three. Okay? I'm fine, dear. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Welcome back to Marino's 8. Later this week, thousands of WSL alum will return for Pullman for homecoming week. John, how's the weather going to look for the Coos as they take on Buffalo? Thanks, Kevin. Um, as we can see, it was the last beautiful couple of days with sun, but I don't see any sun anymore. Sun has decided to be expensive again. As you can see, today is a cloudy, a 60, high of 63 and low of 48. Um, sun is going to, sun was up at 7.06 a.m. and sun is going to be down about 20 minutes from now. So let's move on to tomorrow's weather. Well, where's sun again? I don't see that again. Um, 66 high and 46 up uh, low of 46 degree. And sun is going to be up 7 or 7 a.m. And sun is go down 6 a.m. tomorrow. So move on to state weather. Um, as you can see, it's mostly like cloudy, except uh, Seattle. Seattle is a 59, high of 59 and low of 50 with shower. And most and other cities like cloudy with uh, especially Tri-City 62 and low of 45 and move on to um, five day forecast so sun decided to be generous on thursday in the morning for shortly uh, and then later and it's going to be rain and then friday is another cloudy day and saturday people who decide to go watch a football game uh, please bring your raincoat and enjoy the game so back to you guys thanks john over five million people saw their world come to an end for almost two days you can find out why coming up next on Mirror News 8. It's okay to be scared. Hmm? You don't have to be so strong. Strength is not optional. This is my mother, my purpose. Real muscle is lifting her spirits between bedpans and bad news from doctors that doubt her strength. Strength is buried in bills, managing meds, and swallowing those moments of, Mom, it's me, your daughter. Remember, my strength is super, but I'm still human, right? Look who's here. There she is. There she is. How you feel? 
If you're caring for a loved one, visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community or call 1-877-333-5885. Welcome back. After over 5 million players saw their world come to an end on Fortnite, and all that was left was a black hole. After roughly a day and a half of parents complaining about their kids crying over their loss of their favorite game, the maker of Fortnite filled that black hole with a new map. Fortnite is back, and Epic Games is calling for a new world, Chapter 2. According to Kotaku, thousands of people who were watching the Fortnite black hole saw it suddenly switch to a loading screen. The game came back online and now includes fishing, swimming, boats, the ability to upgrade items along with the brand new map. Well guys, Fortnite's one of my favorite games to play. Uh, do any of you guys play Fortnite? I haven't played it in a long time, but I might have to jump back in with the new map. I haven't, I don't know what's going on, what's going on, what the game is. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, for me, uh, I always get the battle pass, so I'm excited to play uh, the new world, see what it likes to swim in it, um, and also fish, because fishing uh, doesn't really seem to go wrong with the game, so I'm excited to see what fishing does. Uh, any other games that you guys play? Nope. Thank you for watching tonight. Be sure to watch our live newscast at wpv.org slash mn8 and on cable 8 at 7 and 10. Don't forget, you can also follow Morelius8 on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good night, Pullman.